Our next game, ladies and gentlemen, is panel of experts. Uh, let me just pop that in the comments there for a second. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Marvellous. Right, uh, next one is panel of experts. I have got my very own show on which I will have three experts. One will be for the topic of the day. One will be against it. And then there's some mental bastard wild card we've just invited in. We've just invited in to be a part of the chat. So what we need is a topic for us to discuss on this edition of hey, Help! It's Billy Kirkwood. And we got a funding from Yorkshire TV. It was a terrible idea. Uh, so um, what we need is for you to put a topic in the comments, anything at all, um, for the ratings death that will be hey, Help! It's Billy Kirkwood. Um, <laughs> are on giant screen screens, uh, which someone's trying to be trying to screen to the yeah, if you like, why not? Um, we do have a trailer somewhere, we'll try and put it up before we finish up today. Um, right, so a shovel of ducks. Um, so I'm looking for a topic on which there's a little lag of the comments coming through, so bear with us a second. Here they come now. Uh, the exponential rise and the price of Freddo's bloody hell, keep it light, Russell. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, insomnia, new recipe for iron brew, flavors of earwax, helmets for hedgehogs. I love that band. Um, uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So I, do you know something? I've got to say the um, the rise in the price of Freddos. Mm. Uh, I think it's a controversial topic, and it's one we can all get behind as we cling on to the sands of the past, the cobwebs of your failures. So, um, are we ready? Let's go with this episode of A Up. It's Billy Kirkwood. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to A Up. It's Billy Kirkwood. It's me, Billy Kirkwood. <laughs> what an episode we have for you this day. It's um, we've dealt with some topics here in the past. We've dealt with um, flip flops. Really, we've dealt with um, so much things. This one is certainly one of the most important, I think. And uh, I know we've got a live studio audience here. It's the Fredo issue. Now, now I know we've oh. talked about... I, I, I know, I know, I know. We've talked about Brexit. We've talked about many other things. But the real thing we want to talk about, and it's right under our noses. We talked to some of the best minds and conspiracy theories. We've talked to Alex Jones. Well, he screamed at us through a letterbox. But we've talked to many. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the rise and the price of Fredos. Is it connected to the economy? Is it not connected with the economy? First of all, I'm going to bring in, um, for I believe it's for the arguments. Well, first of all, we've got Mary Elaine Robertson, Dr. Mary Elaine Robertson uh, from the University of Economics in, uh, in Oxford. First of all, Mr. Robertson, um, you've written a paper on this, the rise and the price of Fredos. Your thoughts? Yeah, yeah, like I've, I've written an entire paper on this and I actually think it's incredible. It's it's a it's a good testament to how powerful and strong our economy is. Mm -hmm. Plus I got my daddy to buy me like a factory it's worth, so I will be sitting on a gold mine in about two years' time. All right, well certainly we've got with, uh, finally, Fredo's What the Fuck Happened to Taz Bars. We've got with us <laughs> Professor Gary Dobson. Gary, thank you for joining us. Uh, right, it's my pleasure. It's absolutely my pleasure to be here. I know you're I, chomping I just, at the just, bit. Just, well, I was, I was, I was biting at a chomp. Actually, is what I was doing because I couldn't afford a Freddo. I was biting at a chomp. I, I see what you've done there. Clever, but that's not exactly what's happening. I'd just like to say, on behalf of the working class, um, I'm absolutely disgusted with the way this country is going. But in regards to the Fredo, in regards to the Fredo, your thoughts in regards to the Fredo? Well, well, yes. Well, I mean, we're getting priced out, aren't we? There used there used to be a time when you'd get your you'd get your money for your school dinners, wouldn't you? And you'd keep a little bit back, wouldn't you? You'd keep a little bit back, and you'd go out and you'd get yourself a little treat, and that treat would be frog shaped and it'd be chocolate, and it would be just enough to to give you to give yourself a treat, even though that's from a different commercial, right? But now. If you want to get, if the kids want to get themselves a Fredo, and by kids I mean people, because people are children, right? People are just children with bigger trousers. That's all that's going on here. Now you've got to spend your entire lunch money to get a Fredo, and I can tell you this: a Fredo does not does does not contribute to your five a day. So you're missing out. You're missing out. You're, you're pricing people. You're pricing people because people would rather have a Fredo than a bit of broccoli. Of course they would. But if you, but by by pricing people out with the market, you just you 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 you're making people more obese in a way. You, you're making people less healthy 
Sorry, Gary, I'm, I'm going to have to stop you there because your, your comments are giving me the fear. I want to bring in Stuart right. Murphy, who's got plenty to say this, that Stuart Murphy was chomping at what appeared to be a leg before we kicked off. Hey, Stuart, your thoughts on this, the, um, the Fredo issue? Well, uh, to be perfectly honest, Fredos have gone downhill in a great many aspects, not just price. I remember when the Fredo was introduced as a rationing measure in towards the end of World War II, but they did manage to sustain children by containing a real frog. Whereas now, they simply don't. They are a chocolate, I suppose you'd call them, facsimile of a frog. And there is no hide to hair or of a frog to be found in these chocolate bars. There's not even a vague taste of pond. Now, I think we should go back. If we're going to pay the price we are paying, I want a frog in my Freddo. I've been sat in my flat opening Freddos, vaguely hunting for a frog, like some kind of child hoping for a golden ticket, and I found nothing, nothing. It's a frog on the wrapper. There's not a frog in the chocolate. It's not what we were advertised. It's not what we were promised. And I think that's the problem with this country today. It's Brexit all over again. Mary Elaine, you were part of the documentary. It was based on your uh, what's going on at your factory. What's this sticky shit? People are accusing you <laughs> of cutting costs, but putting up profits. Profits before quality. What do you say to that? Um, I would say that actually, if you were to eat them and open the packet, of course they're diminishing because you're diminishing the value of the biscuit or bar. I don't know, I've never had one. Disgusting. But the point is that it's about investing money into the long term gain, and the property market surely isn't doing it for me anymore. I'm just buying up all the chocolate. So I don't care what's in the wrapper. I just care about the little number in the orange bubble on the outside. An evil Willy Wonka. Gary Dobson, in one minute, right. what is the message that you want to send to the British public in regards to the Fredo issue? As I know you're going out campaigning this very weekend. I, I am. I am. I'm, I'm going out campaigning. I, I, I'm very rarely in the house these days. But my, my problem is it's not only that they're getting more expensive, Mr Kirkwood. They're getting smaller, aren't they? They're, they're the more expensive yeah. and the smaller. Now choose one. You can't have both. You can't have both. You can... it, it's 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 ridiculous. It's uh, I'm I'm I used to be a functioning alcoholic, and now I can't even afford a pint because I've because of me Fredo addiction. Wow, I, 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 we've just literally I can't believe uh, we've got this caller on the line. Um, wow, this we have a, we have a... the original Fredo frog, and with this, who was let go from the organization when it was taken over by Mary Elaine Robinson. Fredo, thank yes. you for joining us. I would just like to say, this is a fucking outrage. <laughs> a fucking outrage. Did you not have any compassion? I'm a working frog. I need my wages paid. The price increases, the cost of my labor. Feck you all. Wow, Stuart Murphy. This is piss. I mean, <laughs> Texan bars used to contain bits of real Texans. Maltesers contain fragments of people from Malta, and Mars bars contain pieces of political commentator Andrew Marr. Where's my fucking frog? Well, it, it's a well-known fact that every single Fredo bar sold in the United Kingdom for the first 30 years of its circulation contained a tiny piece of my cock. Marilyn, you're looking concerned. Marilyn Robinson. Daddy, I thought you said you had him killed, Daddy. Daddy, he's on the radio right now. Kill him. Oh, you can't kill me. I'm like Wolverine. Wolverine. You, you, you're killing me and no, I just heal. How else do you explain my dick that keeps growing back? Stuart Murphy, you want to see old values brought back and literally people of old, old people brought back into your chocolates. What is the message you sent to the Confectionery Commission in Brussels today? Bounty bars used to contain parts of the ship that was mutinied on by Fletcher <laughs> Christie. But that's what, in essence, is my argument. Give us what we paid for. I don't find any coconut shell in my bounty. And frankly, I've had enough. Gary, finally, a disgruntled noise that you might make. 
That's all we've got time for. Hey, up, it's Billy Kirkwood. We'll see. It's a terrible name. We're never going to win an award. We will see you next time. Shower of bastards. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it, I didn't know uh, Will Nami could do an Irish accent. It turns out he can. Uh, I wasn't ready for that at all. Was that an Irish accent? I was trying. No, it was Welsh. It was Welsh. There you go. It was Welsh. <laughs> wow. 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 Uh, 